Hey everybody, this is Richie from the Metal Cell Podcast. First of all, I want to give a shout out to our main sponsor, Rising Suns, the award-winning brewery in Cork. Check it out if you anytime you're in Cork, call in, tell them that Richie sent you for a point. Um, I'm delighted to welcome Unmaker to the show. I've got Aaron, Sean, and Jake. Thanks, lads, for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, uh, Jake, by the way, for those that are um, watching, is uh, what, what could you say, man, that he refuses to come on camera? Uh, no, my PC just doesn't have one. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Sorry, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's great to have you on the show, lads, and congratulations on winning the best new Irish metal act. Um, I don't know, were you expecting it or did it come out of the blue? Oh, man, like it was... Uh, I wasn't like, expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? No? Yeah, man, like I thought it was super cool. Like, uh, the funny thing is I'm, I'm not on Instagram or anything. Like, I'm basically like a young boomer, I swear. Uh, so, like, my girlfriend... Literally just said, like, oh, look, you're after doing this. Or was it you, Aaron, that showed it to me? Actually. I don't know. I think it might have been uh, Anna. Anna. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, Anna could have, Anna, my girlfriend, uh, shows me. I was just like, holy shit, that's really cool. <laughs> like, uh, thanks so much. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's in recognition. Like, I mean, you put down a fucking fair year of touring. Um, like, I mean, the, you released three singles as well. And, like, all of it was top notch, and you know Thanks it's great. It's great to recognize hard work when you see it, man. And like I've been doing this for three years, so I mean your name just kept popping up, and in social media, I could see that you were playing with the likes of Psychosis, Crossfire, Worn Out, yeah. Four Notch. I mean, you made it to the final of Metal to the Masses, you know, and you got in three singles as well. Uh, the fact that Aaron sent me the album actually was just a deal breaker for me in, in relation to making up my decision because I had that more so oh. than we'll say the likes of Evan, Danielle and Joe who were also making choices on the night. Oh, and yeah. for those that are listening and watching, we don't consult with each other. I mean, I I, I make my own decisions ultimately. Oh, nice. And okay. um, it was great that all the other lads mentioned other bands, you know, but yeah. that made my mind up, um, Aaron, when you sent me the album. Man, oh, wow. Well. Fucking great pieces, great pieces thanks. of work, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, we uh, we were. Oh, geez, I was absolutely delighted. I remember when I got the notification, I was like, I was in my kitchen with my dad, and I was like, Oh my god, I'm after we're after winning best new band of the year from the Metal Cell podcast. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was awesome. Thanks so much, man. Cheers. Yeah, as I said, more than deserved. So maybe just talk about the year that you did put down. I mean, I didn't even mention the siege because let's just talk about that straight away, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, so uh, I'll just start off. We we, te- we messaged uh, uh, John um, repeatedly, and, uh, <laughs> like everybody else does. <laughs> yeah, i i sent him I sent him an email around January or uh, in February, and then I sent him another one, and then I hadn't heard from him in about four months. So I sent him one more. Mm. I was just saying, like. Uh, uh, I was just saying, like, oh, sorry, sorry for bothering you. <laughs> Are we playing Siege? And he was, uh, he was like, listen, you don't have to keep harassing me. Um, it's in the works. We'll get back to you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no. Anyway, he gave us the message. He gave us the message. He was like, yeah, you guys have been picked for Siege. And uh, I was like, wow. <laughs> mm. uh, so yeah, it was it was really good. I, and we we went down. Uh, God, we were we were first on. We were the first right. band of the day on, on the main stage, and I'll never forget it. I couldn't believe how bloody busy it was. Like, and I was like, Jesus! Like, you would not find this in Dublin. Like, or maybe it would. I don't know. Mm. But like, I, I just, don't think you would. Not it's, that it time is of day. Siege. It is oh, the no, siege. Oh like. no! You won't get that at ten in Dublin, man. No. no. <laughs> but it it's it's interesting. Like, there's there's like a I don't know. There's a passion or something. Like about siege, you know, it's mm. it's it's really cool. Anyway, um, I think the the guys thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed themselves as well. What, what would you say to that? Yeah, oh, yeah like, definitely. It was great time. Man. Like, uh, I mean, like that was fucking amazing. Like, uh, I couldn't believe how good it was. Like, uh, the thing is, like, genuinely, m- my expectations, like, uh, like I was thinking, like, we go down there, there'd probably be like two people there because it was so early. 
But then, like, literally when they opened the doors and the, the, literally the hordes arrived, I was just like, damn, shit, this is going to be good. Or we, It was so cool. Like, uh, we were the first there. We'd done, like, a whole sound check and everything, like a proper sound check. Yeah. And, uh, like, I couldn't believe, like, the guitar tone, like, just the sound. It was literally, like, record quality. It was so fucking cool, man. I've never had, like, a sound check like that, you know? That's or fantastic to hear, man. Just hearing the guitar and it's just literally, it's literally like studio quality sound and like, mm. like oh, the, it, the sound was amazing. And it was. I didn't realize from like, it's only when I looked at videos when you're up state, up on stage, I didn't really realize the lights that much. But then when I looked yeah, at the, the light video, show, was incredible. I was like, holy shit, that light show, man! <laughs> like I didn't actually realized as much when I was on stage, but like yeah. uh, when I looked at the videos and stuff, I was like, man, that's insane. Mm. And we played the Shin A the night before as well. Oh, like, that's uh, right. We were, we were playing with Worn Out the night before, actually. No um, way. That was, Oh, yeah, that was that torture. Um, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, Jake, uh, from the drumming point of view, what was the setup like for you when you oh, got it was on? really good, yeah. Mm. I, especially after being used to playing in Fibbers, just like the, the, the kit was so much better and just the size of the stage and the quality of the sound and all. It was a big, big step up compared to what we're used to. Right, and yeah, good view as well. It was uh, it was like on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, could yeah. see everyone. I could see the whole crowd, which I yeah. which I normally can't. And you you yourself could also be seen, which also yeah, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. Is, makes us makes a nice change. <laughs> yeah, and of course I got in um, to find a massive queue for the siege hoodies, oh, yeah. and I looked in the door and you you had started your set, so I was just going okay. What I do, what I do, Siege Hoodie or see yeah. Unmaker. So I said, right, I can actually hear Unmaker, which is perfect. And <laughs> I just start the queue in, in the hope that like I could get get a hoodie and be back in in five minutes. But unfortunately, <laughs> the fucking queues were just dreadful, man. So um, yeah. in the end, in the end, John announced the hoodies were gone, and I still had probably moved five feet. So I just wheeled around and it opened the door and. Gotchi being yeah. applauded to by the crowd, man. So I mean, oh, and a sweaty Aaron came up to me later, elated. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, if you're gonna do it, do it properly, like, and you fucking nailed it, lads. Uh, fair play to you. Like, it was great that you seized it, like, and and you sounded, from my point of view, you sounded like fucking immaculate. Like, I mean, ah, uh, cheers, man. It's Thanks. it's it's probably yeah, testimony really to the amount that. of gigs that you played up to that point. Would that be fair enough? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like we yeah. we had we had so many gigs before that. It was almost like the siege was kind of like the culmination okay. of all those gigs. Mm. It really helps though, because like I mean, we learned so much. Like you know, I mean, like we, we've made our fair share of mistakes. Like you know, but yeah. uh, with each pa- with each one, you learn from it, and like you just do your best, kind of. Mm. Uh, but I have to say, no, that was like that was that went off without a hitch. Like it was. Uh, the best gig we've ever played so far. <laughs> so far, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, there'll be there'll be bigger ones as well. But yeah, yeah. I mean, like you've headlined with Organ Blender, who've been on the show, and War of Attrition. Uh, that was in Fibbers as well. You're nearly house band at Fibbers now at this stage. Yeah. I know. Yeah, like um, it was. Yeah, we were really good mates with with those two bands. Actually, War of Attrition and Organ Blender. They're they're great guys. And been trying for not there as well. Yeah, four not. They were really good mates with them as well. There yeah. again, they're just just sublime. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's great that you're all kind of. I, I would say, like you know, rising, coming into prominence at the same time. I mean, I was delighted to give four not um, EP of the year as well, man. I mean, that's a- was that uh, was that from across the moors? Correct. Yeah. No, they oh, released another two or three. Fantastic. Yeah, Same everything they. That, like, yeah. Everything they released this year was just top of the range. There was nothing short of fantastic. Like, so, yeah. so I mean, absolutely like, brilliant. Yeah, it, it's great to see oh, so oh. many bands now just hitting the Irish metal scene at the right time. You know, thriving, it's absolutely thriving. Yeah, it is very much so. Um, yeah. I want to give a shout out as well to Spencer, who played with she on the siege, but has since left. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We were very sorry about that, um, but. Uh, there, there was no way around us. Kind of, we just, we just had to kind of part ways. Um, These things happen, it, man. It happens with every band, man. It does. It's, it's such yeah. a rare thing that I, that you have members of 
of a band that are going together for even two years that have still the same original members, you know? Oh yeah, no, it was like, geez, yeah, he's in, uh, he's in another band now and we, we, we honestly wish him the best of luck with us. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it was, um, I, to be honest, I, I wanted to kind of thank him as well myself because like he was a Trojan worker kind of, uh, mm-hmm. like he's an excellent musician. So um, yeah, best of like luck, he, Spencer, man. Yeah, yeah, best of luck to him. Yeah. And hopefully, as, is, is it a metal band that he's with still? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're All really right. good so as we, well. So. Yeah. So we might come across Spencer. Maybe yeah. Keep your eye out. I'm yeah, sure we'll you'll see him. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So we want to talk about now the album that you sent me, Limb from Limb. You recorded it yep. last, what, well, geez, nearly two years ago now, man. It's 2023. Yeah, it's crazy when you would think you believe, about it. Would you believe we were we were in the studio there on Monday doing more touch-ups? <laughs> really? Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So that's the last the last one. Um, uh, it's it's done now. But we right. were just kind of... Uh, it wasn't like... There wasn't huge changes. Like the, the track list is still the same. The, the Everything is still the same. It was just uh, like little vocal touch-ups and stuff, kind of like minute details, kind of, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but it's all done now. So I'm very happy with it. And of course, it's with Michael Richards. Yeah, I mean, he's he's the king. Like you know, he's yeah. <laughs> he's just brilliant. Yeah, and would you agree the, with that, I, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, he did a great job. Yeah, yeah it always sounds great. You always get a great, great mix and track mix. Honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like a promo. <laughs> yeah, I like that, Sean. <laughs> Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> not an ad. <laughs> he's he's a nice like, guy as well. He always makes it a bit of crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would Definitely. laugh with Mick. He's a cool guy. Yeah, I suppose, suppose the obvious question is why did it take so long for it to come out? Uh, it's that's just, a very good question. <laughs> it's just a huge amount of work. Okay. Like I mean, it's like it's just a gargantuan effort. <laughs> like I mean, we we. We started recording it, uh, geez, late 2020. Like, I mean, we were getting demos done in the studio and stuff with like uh, electronic drum tracks and stuff. And then we just were adding to it bit by bit over time and stuff, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like, I mean, to get it up to the standard that we wanted, it, it took a lot of work. So, <laughs> uh, but it was, like I said, it was. It it wasn't work at the same time, you know, because uh, like, well, if, yeah. If if you love what you do, then you'd never work. Like so, yeah. Uh, no, true. it was it was just brilliant. I mean, every day in the studio, you just felt like you know you'd accomplished something. It was mm. it was really cool. It's really cool experience. So, how many weeks would you say, all in all, if you if you decided to total it up, lads, how many weeks would you say you put into it in the studio? Oh, Hard to say, honestly. Kind of kind yeah. of lost track, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd say it. I'd say around, uh, around seventeen weeks. I'd say. What really? I think it was just because we're so like a lot of stuff, a lot of shit, load of gigs, trying to yeah, like okay. get back yeah, into. That's, that's what. That's what made it take so long, really, because mm. we were gigging almost like pretty much every weekend for for a fair amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, especially like uh, was it? There was a solid like three months where we're gigging like every week, and then <laughs> that one for like uh, siege that that was like two gigs. Like uh, literally, we done the Shin A at like what time? We're like half nine uh, to like ten or something, and then like <laughs> next day on a bus down to Limerick at like seven in the morning. Get down! It's like, rock and roll, baby. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's the life. Cool. No, That's because- the life. Yeah. Even like it was an amazing experience, and just like uh, seeing all the other bands in the scene, like there, like everyone's like super friendly as well. Like you, yeah, just uh, you feel at home really when you're just there with like loads of people yeah. and just yeah. If like, there's if there is even competition in there in this scene, it's it's friendly competition more than anything else. It's not fucking ruthless. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I kind of really it's, enjoy that side of things, and it's great sure. to be able to talk to people from the UK and further afield, you know, and, and tell them about yeah. the show and, and go like, lads, the Irish band, 
scene in general, like it's not rootless. It's every yeah. in, in fact, it's fucking most people are out to try and help each other out, be it lending yeah. fucking gear or sharing yeah. rehearsal rooms, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like the, the lads in War Patrician are, are just uh they're just gentlemen like I mean they 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 keep they keep harassing us saying like get down to fucking Limerick and play a gig with us. <laughs> like you have yeah. a house you have a house there to stay in, like you know, and it's just grace now. Yeah. Great band. Great band. Yeah, man. really. It's fantastic. Oh, of course, like, man. Fucking hell. They were yeah. really impressive when I watched them in Siege, actually. Yeah, I love them. They're, they're awesome. <laughs> right. We'll get into the nitty gritty. Limb from Limb is the title. I think yeah, it's the fifth track in. Maybe just talk about naming the album first of all. Was there a few choices? Yeah. Um, do, you want, do you want me to speak on that, uh, lads? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, so um, I I wrote that song. Uh, uh, God, I think it might have been early twenty twenty one, and uh, um, I I wrote the like the guitars and the lyrics and the I electronically programmed the drums and stuff, but. Uh, I kind of it sounded really it just it sounded like a really violent song like mm. so I was thinking like what could I what could I call it like and I was like what's some, something catchy something short and I was like Limb from Limb now I'm aware that Limb from Limb is also a Motorhead song mm. but um, I'm sure it's uh, I think it's maybe on Rain and Blood as well Slayer is it oh wow yeah, okay. Limb from Limb it's it's literally yeah. a selection of words you know. Um, yeah. Walter Sacrifice, one of songs, I'm not sure. But yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I, I wrote, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we, I was actually going to call the album something else. I was going to call it A History of Violence. Okay. But then I, I, I found, because uh, I found... Um, I think there's an album called that as well. Is there? Yeah, I, I, I was looking yeah. on Spotify and I was like, I found some rapper with like 600,000 followers. <laughs> his first album, A History of Violence. So I was like, well, that's, that's that one out the door. Right. Yeah. Well, man, it's a good title. And yeah, Orn designs the. Did he design? I know he did the logo for you. Did he design the cover as well? No. Uh, okay. Andy Andy Pilkington done that from Very Metal Art. Oh, nice yeah. choice. I I have to say, like when when we got that, I was I was just blown away. It was like that's actually because it's a, it's the artwork for the song to war. It's not yeah. for limb from limb, but the artwork is explaining kind of the the song for to war, kind of like the way. Master of Puppets is, is it's got the crosses for like yeah. disposable heroes kind of yeah um, but that's because Two War is kind of based on like a medieval kind of uh, it's actually Lord of the Rings inspired believe it or not but, uh, yeah so that's that's where the name the name came from uh, I the, the song itself is about mental illness actually um, it's about this like demon inside you like tearing you apart limb from limb kind of okay um, Anyway, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So the first yeah. track, anyway, is Breed. A uh, great opener, actually. So I'll, I'll play uh, a section of it there. Yeah! opener um you're left in no doubt what you're in for <laughs> with that song the start of it uh sean maybe we'll go to you about your opinions of breed and how it came to fruition yeah it's a great song like uh was it Aaron? literally uh that's one of Aaron's 
songs like uh was he brought it into the dropbox and i remember because over covid we were like writing songs putting them into dropbox i remember the first time i heard it i was just like that's a fucking killer tune mm. went into like the studio and that was back in like 2020 shit that was, that was, that was the first one we recorded actually yeah yeah, very first yeah. One. because uh like yeah that was in 2020 we went in and recorded some guitars and uh like i remember uh I said I have an idea for an outro solo mm. and uh, like uh, put that in the end well it's a fucking excellent song like I, I really enjoy it <laughs> like yeah I suppose it might be confusing for those people Aaron that have seen you live and then not to find you on stage with a guitar strapped around your neck how difficult is that man yeah uh, we're working on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I I don't know, like I just I haven't had the time to uh to to practice it. Uh I was actually tempted to I was actually a while back there, I was actually tempted to ask see if we could get another guitar player in mm. um just to get the build bulkier sound kind of but uh yeah, no, um I don't know, like I It's a difficult it one, like I mean yeah I mean you you look at the likes of Chuck Billy and, you know, I'm sure he can fucking play guitar as well. You've got Gene Hoglin of Dark Angel, who writes all their stuff, who's the drummer. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, like, I didn't plan on being the vocalist, like, when I started this project. Like, I okay. uh, I was the, the guitar player, like, so um, uh, we had uh, a vocalist, actually, before I jumped on vocals, and that was uh, Callum Watts, who was in a really good black metal band now called Not Quite the End. Okay. Um, uh, keep an eye out for them. They're they're right. actually superb. But uh, yeah, no, um, uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't do rehearsals because Callum lived uh, in kind of uh, Tullamore or something, and it was it was just too much for him yeah. to get up to Dublin and then work as well. Like so. Okay. Um, I just said, you know, I'll focus, I'll just fucking do it. Mm. <laughs> and uh, that's it. The rest is history. So. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Track two is Control. We'll give this a blast. Really like this song. And there's so many influences you can hear coming through it. I'm not going to name fucking influences, but um, <laughs> I'm going to just throw it over to you, Jake, for this song. As from a drumming point of view, do you just sometimes just go, I'll keep it simple and leave the boys do their fucking show piece? <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's funny that you played the um, the end of that track rather yeah. than the, the riff at the start and stuff. But uh yeah, not sure too much to say. Sometimes I like to keep it simple. You know, I don't go quite as crazy with the fills as some other drummers do. Mm. Yeah, and you know what? But Sometimes it, it works, and I think uh, th there's some great examples of it on this album. You know, I like I like to think I, I found it like sort of a middle ground, I guess. Mm. Yeah, and that's yes. and and to be able to recognise that Jake is important sometimes for a band. Mm. Yeah, because a lot of people want to show off their own thing rather than, you know, respecting the music. 
Oh yeah, and look, that comes into a especially playing live, man. You can you can that pays off big time. Whereas you, the worst thing you can have is a, a drummer doing endless fills over. I can, I can name bands, but I won't. Where, <laughs> where that happens, you know. Uh, what would you say to that, Aaron? Yeah, no. Look, Jake's Jake's the be the bee's knees. Like he's, <laughs> it's 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 complicated shit. Like, but mm. it's it, it's also uh, like. I don't know. He just his drumming just fits into the pocket perfectly. Yes, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's great. Fair play to him. Yeah. And look, I'm trying to pick out one minute sections as well. And it's the fucking hardest thing to do, as you can imagine. Because yeah, like yeah. The, easiest, yeah. the easiest thing for me is just to fucking play the whole thing through, like you know. <laughs> yeah. But th- there's just s- certain sections of each song that I really like, and mm. and they mightn't be the obvious ones for you, but. Um, it's my show, so I pick. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, Drop Dead, another fucking great song, lads. Um, we'll talk my about My personal favourite. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Who wants to take this one? Uh, I might take it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so I, I actually, I actually wrote this song a, a long time ago. Uh, I what year is it now? Twenty twenty three. So that would be uh, about thirteen years ago. I think I wrote this song. What? <laughs> yeah, I wrote it when I was sixteen, um, in my first band, and right. obviously the band fell apart. Mm. But uh, I kept the song because that's what I really liked. It. Yeah, yeah. And um, I uh, yeah, pro- it hasn't went. Did it mutate much over the years, Aaron? Or not really? No. Oh. I mean, me, me and my my one of my best friends who was in that band, we wrote it together. And um, mm. and uh, uh, do you know the band Scathed? Yes. Uh, yeah, the, with with uh, Ainsley the singer. And, yes, um, that's right. Yeah. So uh, Ronan, the drummer oh, Ronan, in that band, yeah, top guy. Yeah, I had him on the I, show. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually went to school with him. Um, okay, but uh, we he was in that band. We were in that band together. That was our very first band. Wow! And uh, we all three of us uh, wrote that um, song. Are you looking for publishing royalties, man? <laughs> oh, jeez, don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, God. No. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll happily pay him. Honestly, he's, he's a great, <laughs> he's a great guy, great fucking drummer as well. Like, but uh, yeah, um, that was that was about it. Really, it's about I I wrote the lyrics very recently, and um, they. they uh, they were about uh, an old boss of mine, so I won't name names. But yeah, yeah, no, nice, <laughs> nice to give him, give give yeah. us an idea of, of what it's about. I presume all the lyrics will come at the release. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely. Important, that's, yeah. that's important. Um, yeah. I love the way as well that there's no, there's no real fills in the album, and especially a song like "Drop Dead." Is that a complicated song to play live? Maybe Sean. Is, uh, I think it is. Well, well, what do you think, lads? Like, uh, what was it? I, I, I love playing that song live because, okay. like, uh, just the fucking groove when it just hits in the dan 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 dan. I suppose the I suppose the hardest bit out of live is that uh, section with the kind of so everyone's locked in. They kind of do 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 do. I uh, what did I say? Sorry, it's like a drum, it's like a drum roll kind of. Mm. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, it's really fun to play. Like, uh, I love playing the solo. That's Aaron's baby. Uh, that's Sir Gilbert you hear on the record shredding <laughs> that bad boy. 
Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> Out of all the songs, actually, lads, you know, I have I have still another few to go. What was the hardest song? We might just say Take Jake on that. What was the hardest song uh, for you, Jake? For me, in terms of playing live, I'd say the hardest one for me to play is Breathe. Because okay. that has a lot of different parts to it and okay. a lot of a lot of fast and um, double bass as well, which can be quite tough on the old endurance. Right. And that's that, that, actually you don't really start to set with that. I think you started no, the we stage don't start. with two war. Usually we started with two war, yeah, most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's another great one. I love playing that one live as well. Great opener, mm. I think. Yeah. Aaron, what's yeah. the hardest song for you? Maybe do you want to take it from well, a live point of view? Vocally? Yeah. So vocally for me, there's no question. It's definitely control. Okay. <laughs> and I've 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 uh, been very vocal about how hard it is because <laughs> it's just like I like to move around and stuff. Yeah. But uh, like, there's so much fucking lyrics in that song. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's uh, it is tough. So I have to kind of limit my. But I want to be animated as well to make mm. it fun. But yeah, definitely where control. where in the set does that song tend to land for you? Let me let it ground, I think. Where, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was this breathe where you're talking about? Or control? Control, yeah. yeah. Control, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like mid set, mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Like around mid set. Halfway, halfway mm-hmm. through, if thereabouts, yeah. What about you, Sean? I heard the song of this, of this album to play live. Oh, funny enough, it's actually control, I think. Oh. <laughs> We're all in this, all in agreement. Yeah, okay. Like, uh, like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, uh, yeah, because the, the stuff we play is, like, uh, I suppose you can say pretty, can be technical at times. Mm. But, like, uh, yeah, it's, but it's fucking so fun to do it, man. Yeah. Like, and I think the main thing is, like, I think one of my favorite parts of the night is we have a little thing, like, uh, was it Aaron would go up and just tell the crowd to fucking split down the middle, room to room. The funniest thing, the funniest thing, like uh, I think, gig wise, that happened was uh, we're we're told that it was supposed to be like a was it a sepultura after party, oh, okay. but like it ended up being Thursday sessions in Vivers, so it wasn't really much metal bands, like but, jazz kind of indie. Oh yeah, that was a weird one. <laughs> and, uh, I I remember it was so funny because I remember we went in and we were just like, look, they're all sitting around in chairs around the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen that in Vivers. What the fuck? And, but I mean, like, it was amazing just to get to turn, like, people that, I don't know, like, they're really into the like, kind of jazzy stuff to, like, do a fucking wall of wall death. Wall of death. Are you kidding me? They did. <laughs> yeah, they done a wall of death, man. We split, yeah, Aaron got them to split that room in two. And you guys move one... the chairs to the side, please. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they folded their coats and put it in the corner and they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love Very it. Very good. Okay, f- track number four, False Disciple. <laughs> uh, what a song. Uh, it's one of my favourites, actually. There's a, you're playing with a lovely melody there in the background, which vocally coming over, it works so well, Aaron. Thanks um, a million. <laughs> what about the lyrics to that? Self-explanatory? Yeah. 
So that was, uh, yeah, it's, it's just about toxic friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've all had them and it's, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had my fair share of them as well. Like, so, yeah, I just, yeah, I just, uh, that was it. Mm. <laughs> that was uh, Sean, Sean's baby, actually. Sean wrote that song. Okay, Sean, maybe just uh, give us an old, bit of an old insight into relation to the, uh, was it like two or three riffs you had and or was it easy enough? Yeah, it was, it was funny enough. It was kind of like, geez, uh, try, trying to think, was it last summer or the summer before I wrote it? But like, it was, yeah, like, uh, kind of like just jam to like uh, some tracks on YouTube, like kind of drum track stuff. And I'd mm. kind of get a feel for a rhythm. Okay. Like, then I kind of, it's kind of, I suppose the way I write is a real kind of jam based thing. Like, I kind of like get a, like a drum track or something and kind of jam along to it. And like, uh, then it kind of formed into that. Like uh, and then I like uh, made made a demo at home. Like I just recorded like the stuff that I had and sent it into the Dropbox, and then we jammed it out and recorded. It was, it was great. Like uh, it was fairly straightforward it. then. Like uh, yeah, yeah, Jake wrote his Jake wrote his own drum track to it as well, which was which was great. Yeah, yeah. It's like, cool. uh, but it's yeah, it's cool. Like uh, I love playing that song live. It's pretty mm. fun. Um, how much? How many times do you rehearse, lads? Do you get to rehearse once a week, or, or is it is it hard for all of you? Uh, uh, it depends. Like uh, we try to do it as much as possible. Now we 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 played our last gig there around November, late November. It's like third. It's actually third in November month. Oh, it was early November. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And we said we were gonna take some downtime over okay. the Christmas, so there's no gigs December, no gigs January. Mm-hmm. As far as we know, for the moment, there's no gig in February, but that might change. Okay. Um, so, but when we are gigging, uh, like for really big gigs, we would rehearse the week before. Um, now, we, we did rehearse a lot before we started gigging. Like it was nearly every week. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but are we you still all based re- in Dublin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And where's the rehearsal studio? It's Troubadour, so it's in Fairview. Well, it's it's near Fairview, yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, like we were gigging so much. To be honest, we we didn't need to rehearse too much. We would now for the Metal and the Masses gigs, we rehearsed every week for for them. Okay. Uh, yeah. But after that, we were gigging very regularly. So just no need. Yeah. <laughs> the gigs were the rehearsals. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Jake, like I- Jake, have you much to bring to rehearsal hall? But your drums and stuff. How um, do you get them there? Um, no, actually, for rehearsals, they're they're very good. They actually provide cymbals and stuff there, so it's very easy for me. All I have to bring is my double bass pedal. That's it. Oh fuck it, that's very handy, isn't it? Yeah, it's very great. handy. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, okay. yeah, Tro- Troubadour, are great. It's a really great rehearsal studio. Definitely yeah. recommend it to anyone. And are the rates good there? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think they're great. Yeah, was it uh, around fifteen quid a head for like four hours? It's pretty Jesus. good. That's pretty good for Dublin for, prices, like yeah. Yeah, for the service, you guess. Honestly, it is really good. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would love you now. I'd love to have our own studio, like some other bands, like yeah. uh, Psychosis have their own studio now in East Wall, and I would I love. Like yeah, like I would love to have to rent out, but honestly, we just could not afford it. Yeah. Like it's a fortune. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very tough. You'd have to share with somebody, you know. Yeah. Early days, yeah, lads. Early hopefully. days. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Title track Limb from Limb. <laughs>
give me your favourite metal hero. Come on. Uh, at the moment, it's Josh Middleton. Okay. From Silosis. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't yeah, expecting that time. in the slightest. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt, I don't even have to hesitate on that one. Yeah. He's just my my metal oil at the moment. Yeah. When I was a teenager, obviously, it was like James Hetfield and stuff. But uh, yeah. started listening to Silos like four years ago and mm. it just changed my life. I was like, this yeah. is fucking amazing. So, I'm glad to say I saw him live, I think, twice, maybe. I saw them at Bloodstock. Sean, unfortunately, I missed missed Sean unfortunately missed that one. <laughs> he was devastated. Oh, I'm actually sick. I missed them twice. Like once with Megadeth back in 2016. And then like when I went to Bloodstock like last minute and what was it? I was in fucking Birmingham trying to get down. Missed them. Uh, nothing worse. And I was sick. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, Sean? You should be. You should be because they're fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Sean? Give me some yeah. heroes. Oh man, like hands down, no hesitation. Dime by Daryl. Like uh, he is like my idol. Like That's fair enough. You don't understand how much I wanted to be that man when I was like 12, 13. I was wearing camo shorts. I wanted to get my hair curled. It was it was it was weird. Yeah. But you didn't, uh, you didn't go with the root of the false beard and mustache going around the place now. Uh, I can't grow it, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, now you can buy him though. I don't have the good <laughs> Jeans. You don't need jeans when you've got hard cash. Just just buy it. <laughs> just buy it. <laughs> or if you have a marker, you're sorted. <laughs> Over to you, Jake. Uh, for me, I suppose I'd, I'd probably have to pick two. It'd probably be Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater and uh, Joey Jordison from Slipknot. Both just amazing Impressive. drummers. Very different, yeah. but very different. Just exactly. big, big inspirations for me, both of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Aaron, you explained limb from limb. Um, you, did you say it was it something to do with uh, Lord of the Rings? Is it? No. So limb from limb is uh, mental illness. Oh, mental. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So like I, I suffer quite badly um, uh, with kind of uh, uh, mental illness. So I just wanted to write a song about it that was really violent and like would get people moving. You know, yeah. that turning on its head maybe make something better out of it. Yeah, you know, um, but uh, yeah, we play that song. That's always our f- final song on the set, so that's the one we always get the wall of death for. Oh, good. Um, so okay. it's a bit of fun. Like, we, no, we couldn't do it at Siege, unfortunately, because uh, we were told that there's actually no moshing allowed, um, mm. and that it's that some guy sued them or something because yeah, he got, it only like, takes one guy to fuck it up for everybody yeah, yeah so, no matter um, what well, I, did, life. I did see other bands were, were starting mosh pits later on in the night in the arena like um, yeah. so but like it would have been too risky honestly because I, I really did not want to rock the boat no, of, so. and you're dead right man there's, yeah. there's a time and a place for that you know so definitely yeah uh, yeah. This next track, um, it really breaks up the album but it's, uh, it's a really cool thing I, I know bands kind of sometimes veer away from instrumentals but they're a thing that I genuinely love right from when I was a teenager awesome uh, listening to the likes of Megadeth and awesome. you know just some oh, great instrument and metallic obviously for instrumentals yeah. uh, so Point Break I love the title as well I wonder is there any relevance to the movie but we'll we'll talk I'll about that in a minute I'll tell you about that in a minute <laughs>
with Joe Satriani as well, man. God, <laughs> I could go on. It would, it would get boring, lads. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, point break. Talk to me. Like, um, all right, you can take it away, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it, man. Like, uh, yeah. oh, never works. Like, I can say something. Uh, you go, you go for it. Go for it, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, uh, that was that's a, not one of Aaron's babies, that one. Uh, and, like, uh, yeah, I remember, like, like uh, he sent it in the Dropbox. Like, that's how the, we kind of do demos. We, yeah. like, uh, like, one of us would write something, put it in the Dropbox, and then we'd listen to it, give, then jam it out in rehearsals. So Aaron sent this over, over to us one of the days and just said, like, uh, I was listening to it, I was like, it's fucking deadly. And then uh, he said, could you do like a long outro solo for it? And I was like, yeah, I'll give it, give it a go. And that's uh, like the outro solo that you hear on the thing. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Aaron? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, in answer to your question, by the way, yeah, it is in reference to the movie. <laughs> okay, cool. Because uh, I, I hope the original, no, not the fucking remake. Oh God, no, Jesus! I haven't even seen that. No. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, I wouldn't soil my uh, no. my eyes with it. No. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, yeah, no, because it's literally one of my favorite movies, and uh, I I wrote this. Uh, I came up with this like the intro riff. I was just fiddling around with with uh, scales and arpeggios and stuff, and I was like, "Holy shit, that sounds like something out of the Point Break soundtrack." Because. Uh, me and my one of my best friends, Oshin, uh, wrote that together, uh, like like ten years ago, and uh, uh, we were like, "Yeah, fuck it." Yeah. <laughs> so we just jammed it out, and uh, he was originally supposed to be in that other band. He was supposed to do the outro solo, but the band kind of fell apart. So uh, I just kept us. I I never I never took it upon myself to write solo. Um, but when I started on Maker with like Sean and the lads, um, I was like, "Here." This is all, it's all yours. Go for it. Um, so yeah, that was it. it. The reason it's called Point Break is because it it sounds kind of like the ambient kind of soundtrack mm. to the movie. So. It clicked with me straight away, man. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the yep. last two tracks, man, are perfect to bring to the end of this brilliant yep. ad release. Rise, will you give this a listen to? I'm guessing here that that track is a pleasure to play live. Um, honestly, it wouldn't be one of my favorite pl- tracks to play live. Ah, why? To be honest, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just compared to some of the other ones, it's just not quite as enjoyable for me. But it's still good, though. They're all the songs I, I enjoy playing all the songs, but it, it wouldn't be a top one. Yeah, I'm just smiling here. Is there any reason? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. You know, okay. it's just play, playing playing the same riff quite a lot. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, um, we 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 don't really we haven't really kind of uh, played that one live and off. We lot. have. We've played it. We've played it once, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's been a few times. Right, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean actually wrote that one. So yeah, 
Oh, it's 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 a great track. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's about... just seeing if he'll dig a hole for himself, Sean. That that's all. I'm just playing yeah. around. <laughs> He's been very diplomatic. Yeah. Oh he, he, yeah, yeah. That's our Jake. <laughs> yeah, come on, Sean. Talk to us about the track. Yeah, like uh, just another like kind of example of just kind of jamming away to a few drum tracks or something, and then kind of like grooving, and then like that. I just thought that riff kind of had a bit of a groove to it and I thought it was real cool just kind of have that constant yeah uh, and uh, yeah like I suppose like when I write songs I kind of try to look at it like on the like in the third person if you know what I mean like I kind of think like you know will I move to this if I listen to this from another artist kind of thing yeah if that makes that's, sense that's how I do it as well yeah, yeah and I think honestly that's how you have to do it like um, because if, if if you feel like you can't enjoy it, you know. Mm. What about uh, approaching it um, from a vocalist side of things? This track, Aaron. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, many ideas. Uh, it started out actually again. Sean hashing out the vocal kind of rhythms, um, mm. and uh, it was uh, I kind of just built on it. Um, okay. So, uh, I uh, I don't know. I it just I just kind of. Up to the head of tin air. <laughs> uh, it's about like revolution and kind of uh, mm. like uh, you know, kind of rebellion, I suppose. You know, kind of uh, we know it well down Cork, you know. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so <laughs> great, it. man. Yeah, you're gonna have to fucking play it down in Cork the next time. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah, we won't do that actually. Yeah, Hear that, Jake. Not- <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll be expecting it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, we sure. This is a sure. great. This is a great track to end the album tour. Uh, that was the second single, I think, lads. That was the one that um, I heard, and I just went, "Holy fuck!" I have to uh-huh. really check these lads out. Uh, Cheers. So brilliant song. Okay, so we'll, we'll play it. interesting he chose to open all your gigs with two war like i mean it's a fucking serious song all right like but then to put it at the end of the album um w- w- let's talk about that decision first of all it, it just uh, it's our most i think it's our m- well, definitely well at least one of our most energetic songs yeah and it just seems like the right just right decision to just grab grab them by the balls you know yeah. like Bree <laughs> does at the start yeah yeah, so I, uh, that was, I don't know, I, I, I was drafting up set lists and I just felt that tour um, w- was the best one to open it. Um, you won't have people leaving fucking an unmake or set after listening to war. In fact, you're going to fucking pull people in. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Uh, that's, that's the idea, all right? Yeah. So. And yeah. Uh, you're ending the album on a high. It's, uh, you're, you're literally going fucking hell especially um you know if you're whatever fucking thing i have it i was listening to it it you know when you play the last track it just goes straight back into the first track 
Oh yeah. So I don't know what, what the name of the fucking app is, but uh it's just yeah. fucking great. Like, you know, just to have that yeah. loop Full straight circle. back into breed again. Maybe Thanks, Sh- Sean, what about um your input into this? Uh it was mainly like uh was it <clears throat> Aaron's baby again? Yeah. Had you any I, lead work to do with it or no, that's all Aaron. Well, oh, like, uh Oh, sorry, I was thinking of a different one. Yeah, no, I, I did actually do the lead on that one. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, like Different. obviously, Sean does all the the the, the leads live and, and like the fills, yeah. he's uh, doing it. He's like, there's a great I, footage actually of that for anybody that's um, wants to check out Unmaker live. Uh, whoever recorded it for ye in the siege. Um, there's a great version of that song. Oh, I think that was, uh, was that? Uh, that, was on, that was Anna, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. up on our YouTube channel, actually. Yeah, check, check that out for anybody just listening um, that have never seen Unmaker before. It's, it's, it's a great um, example of how good they are and how tight they are live. Uh, to War is the song, isn't it? And is there another? I think there might be another track, maybe. It's Breathe, well. I think. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so that, that brings uh, the conclusion to the album, Limb from Limb, lads. Uh, I must say, congratulations. It's a fantastic album. It'll do you so well for the next Thanks, few man. months, man. And, Thanks and a lot. I hope people will like certainly give a listen to it. And, you know, it's there. It will be there on Bandcamp. And will there be a physical copy? Yes, there will. Oh, class. Yes. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so uh, we'll send one of them down to you. <laughs> ah, sure. Look, I'll buy it. There's no hassle. Um, nah, no, no, no. It's, 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 it's great that you still think about the old school people like myself that love physical copies. <laughs> yeah. So Hell yeah, man. Hey, in fairness, that. though, like um, physical copies are coming back, you know. I mean, I hope so. Vinyl, vinyl is is uh, hot right now, you know. So it's yeah. just uh, it's hard to 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 make them that's the problem with it because it is, yeah so but um, surely it's, it's like the the whole cd route that that uh you explored i mean was there was it always going to be uh, a physical copy yeah i remember we were thinking uh, at one stage more kind of aiming towards like a vinyl or something where you're kind of thinking of doing at some stage i, w- I would like to get cds as well you know just just because if people want to listen to them in their cars or something like, you know. Yeah, oh, like yeah. I mean, we're 100%. Um, yeah. I suppose kind of black metal more er- errors more to the cassettes then. Um, I, I think it's just, it's, it's funny the way things are going, um, <laughs> that, that physical copies are coming back in no matter what format. Um, yeah. You'll always have the punters there ready to buy buy yeah. them. And while we're on about buying stuff, you have uh, some nice merch out as well. With the t-shirts, they're still up for sale, yeah. Oh yeah. Um we have to we're we're in the process of getting our online shop set up. Um great stuff. And we actually just got ourselves a card machine for, for gigs as well, because people just want to use tap. Um, Brilliant. so that's it's in the works. We should get it sorted in the next couple of months. Um okay. Because I really because I've got I've got five uh boxes of <laughs> t shirts here in my room. Nice. That uh, are just gathering dust at the moment, so <laughs> they need to be sold. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, again, you can put together a package with a CD and a T-shirt, for yeah. example. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sounds good. Yeah. So um, that's great to hear. You haven't really confirmed anything yet in relation to a launch show for the album, but I'm presuming that there will be one. Oh yeah, yeah there will be absolutely. We've got something in the works for that. Great stuff. Yeah, we're we're trying to get that arranged. We're just uh, trying to nail down a venue okay. and a day, but it'll be sometime around late March, early right. April, okay. at the very latest, early April. So, um, but your luck, yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. Yeah, and listen for again for those that are watching and listening, you got a great preview of eight the eight songs, and I tell you, lads, it's a fucking fantastic album. And um, thanks. thanks, thanks for coming on the show and sharing them with me as well. I appreciate that. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thanks so much. (laughs) Yeah, so Aaron, Sean, and Jake, even though we can't see him, we can hear him. Uh, Thanks again for coming on the show and crucially support your local metal scene. Uh, Cheers, Richie. Appreciate it. Cheers, Cheers, lads.
Thanks a million.